Welcome to Shergao Island. Yesterday we flew in from Manila and it was Manila to Davao and Davao to here. It is our first time in this island. We wanted to always come here ever since we traveled the Philippines two years ago. We finally made it. Today we're headed to Cloud Nine and to a nice, nice cafe with smoothie bowls. And then later we're gonna head to the natural pools called Magapuco. I think I'm saying it correctly. Anna's ready to go with the helmet. We were supposed to start our day about an hour ago, but it's been raining, so um, wish us luck on the roads. And if you don't know us by now, you should know that we fall a lot on motorbikes. We've probably fallen how many times this we trip, Anna? Tip. Yeah, we tip we over a lot. We accidents, but when roads are rocky and we're both on one bike, it's just really unstable and we'll just go. Yeah, lots of scars over here in Southeast Asia. All right, we need some coffee, that's for dang sure. Let's go. We've just arrived at Shaka Cafe here, and I just want to let you know, driving on the left side of the road in all these countries in Southeast Asia really makes us confused when we come to the Philippines, because you drive on the right side of the road in the Philippines. We drive on the right side at home, but we haven't been home in three months, four months, so we're used to the left side now. We're used to the wrong side. So out here is the iconic surf spot, Cloud Nine. Right now, Anna's ordering us some smoothie bowls and coffee over here. <laughs> Getting like a peanut butter banana bowl with some cacao, espresso, and, and cappuccino. cappuccino. Uh, for a bowl and an espresso shot, it was 300 pesos. A bit expensive, but it looks favorite. really worth it. Need some coffee in me and you get caffeinated, energized. Cappuccino is delicious too, and Look, it's so pretty. She's so always, bougie. Oh, well, these things are cool. I don't get to be bougie because we are <laughs> backpackers. No wonder this place is known for smoothie bowls. Oh my gosh. It's a Happy great way to start your day. Best dad ever, look at the swing. That's all a kid ever wants, let's be honest here. I'm all espressoed up and I'm excited for the day. It's raining a little bit, it might storm. <laughs> Although it's raining, this day keeps getting better because people that own Chaka actually open another Mexican restaurant around here and they two free tacos for each of us if we buy a drink there later. We're getting some tacos. There is nowhere in the world you can see palm trees as extraordinary as they are in the Philippines. They're just miles high and millions of them. And they're not planted there. They're not man-made, they're natural. I think we're gonna just go pick up some fruit because we have been eating out Lately, and I just want food for tonight. Then we're gonna go home because we were gonna go to the lagoon, but just not sure how this storm is gonna pass. Um, but when it does, we will be on our way. <laughs> but let's go get fruit. <laughs> Stop to the side of the road. Looks like they got rambutan, avocados. Oh my gosh, those are great. Watermelon. We're staying in the General Luna area, which is where most of the tourism actually is, and Cloud Nine's about 10 minutes away from there. We're staying for like two weeks, so we have a kitchen and equipment to cook. We're gonna get some fruit here and veggies later, maybe go to the supermarket. This is a great way to save money too, if you're on a budget. Get some local fruit and veggies and make your own meal at home. So over here, they have tomatoes and onions and garlic and potatoes. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be cooking good. Anna, tell them what you've been doing for the past week. So I want to start doing a segment called Cooking with Anna when I get home, because I think right now it's a little too much while we travel. So I've been writing down my recipes in my book. She is such a good cook. That's one of the reasons I'm in love with her. She really is passionate about cooking. She loves Gordon Ramsay and watches cooking videos every day, all day. There's our rice. One kilo of rice. This is so much fun. All right, and how much was all this? Three fifty-eight, which is like half the price of our entire meal last night. We just dropped off a of food at our Airbnb back here. Blue skies are coming out, so we are ready to go. We're headed to Manga Punko. I don't know, natural pools. We'll see when we get there. I'm gonna ask someone how to say it. Look at all those goats. They're so cute. Just 
stopped on the side of the road and look at what we found. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Look how cute they are. That one's rubbing itself against a tree. Rubbing its side, see it? Oh my gosh, he's twerking. He's twerking. First of all, we stop because it's raining out pretty hard on the side of the road here. And over there, vehicle. someone's bike is on fire right now. Look at this. That bike is on fire. Oh my gosh. That is so sad. They're trying to put it out right now with buckets of water. So the one question I ask myself right now is why the hell we haven't invested in a raincoat yet? Because we always get caught in the rain on our bike. If we just had a raincoat. But what did your mom get us? A wet bag. Yeah. Thank God, I've been saying we, we need, need this, this the whole time too. Thanks, Care Care. Thank you, Care Care. On our way up to, what is it called? I don't know, the lagoon. There is a awesome palm tree viewpoint. How amazing is this? We just had to stop and show you because- It's endless. It's seriously the coolest thing ever. For those of you who have not been following, we have the Mavic Pro drone but it broke when we were in Thailand. So unfortunately, we didn't get it fixed in time and we had to buy another drone, the Mavic Mini. Let me fold it up and show you how small this thing is. We're about to put it up near these palm trees, but look at this, the size of your hand. Flying a new drone is always scary. It's like having a new baby. It's my new best friend, here we go. We drove all this way about an hour to Magapunko and it is closed. We won't even be here. Duration January 19th to February 19th. Pretty sad, we always wanted to do that. It looks so much fun. We're very sad. I'm bummed because it looked so cool and fun and it's all I wanted to do all day. We kind of came from the storm back there and it looks like it's about to rain. Let's be honest, I'm just pumped for Anna to cook tonight. We're bummed. Yeah, that's very sad we couldn't go. This island is awesome. We just stopped on the side of the road and we just saw these little piglets running toward their mom and then they basically tackled the mom into submission. Now they're suckling in the mom's teat. Yes, I said it. Oh my Get gosh, it. guys, you're so cute. Look at them. They're just right near me now. Oh my God, hey, hey. Called Mama's Grill. It was on a blog we read. Um, it's one of the top places to eat here on Shergal, but we just happened past it and we smelled it and we were like, that's Mama's Grill. So, what you do is you come in and you get to pick your meat or vegetables in the fridge here, and then you get some rice and red horse and you enjoy your lunch. Back here is like the barbecue <laughs> for the barbecue and all the goodies. There we go. <laughs> I missed Red Horse so much. I know I said Bintang from Indonesia was just as good, but Red Horse, oh my gosh. Red Horse is I missed it way so better much. than Chong. I don't like Chong. Wow. Chong makes my stomach hurt. I don't know why. Bintang is like very light. Would you just look at it? We got one pile of rice. We're about to put some limes on it. I got eggplant and chicken and Ian got chicken and pork. And then we both got sides of rice. Oh, watch it go, watch it go, baby. Beautiful. Although that wasn't as eventful as we had hoped due to the natural pool being closed, Ian and I had such an amazing day getting to know the island. I think tonight we're just gonna edit some videos and I am going to cook Ian dinner. Anna's cooking right now in the kitchen. I'll show you the Airbnb. This is our bed. This is where I'm editing. Huge bathroom in here. Let's go check on Anna. Today I will be making a version of the Ian special. This is basically just a bunch of stuff with rice. Ian made it in college all the time. He of course made it with meat, banana peppers. Oh, and the end finished off with a dollop of hummus. Right now in the pan I have chili, garlic, and shallots. I'm gonna put eggplant, tomatoes, and rice in there and just throw it all together and top it off with some avocado. Ooh. This is an Ian special. It's so, so good. Anna, the Serbian gangster. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. We're going surfing tomorrow at Cloud9. One of the top 10 surfing destinations in the entire world. Woot woot, yip yip. See you tomorrow.